Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake aka Tag, and today we're coming at you with a very strong 3.1 Elixir Mortar Bait Cycle deck. This deck ends up having a lot of log and zap bait with the Spear Goblins, the Goblin Gang, the Rascals, and the Bats. And you're going to end up having the Miner to tank for all of that, especially the Rascals and the Goblin Gang if your opponent ever zaps them or snowballs them. So check out this deck for 12 win grand challenges or hit it up on the ladder. It only has one epic card, which is the Barbro, and you can substitute it out for the Zap or the Snowball if you guys don't have that properly leveled. Let's go jump straight into some games and let's assert some dominance. We're going to end up saucing out Spear Goblins here and we're going to drop a good luck. We're going to see what's up and we're going to see what's good. This guy is going to end up going for a Bar Barrel, so let's go in for a Goblin Gang here. Maybe we can shut that down and get some damage on his right hand side. Probably want to end up going in for Rascals here on the right hand side just so we can end up tanking for the Baby Dragon. Potentially get some counter push here. He might have Bar Barrel though so I'm a little bit scared. He's going to Golem so I need to play a little bit defensive. We know that his Baby Dragon's out of cycle so I kind of want to end up going for Miner and Bats. And then we can probably get away with the defensive Mortar and Spear Goblins against the Golem. Since he doesn't end up having his Baby Dragon in cycle we knew he's going to have to exhaust either like some... Mega Minion or something they didn't want to drop. He ended up dropping a NATO. It doesn't even give him counter push potential. So that's one of the best things for us possible. They ended up going for Spear Goblins here. So they're able to hit the Mega Minion. He ends up dropping a lot of Elixir. He ended up going for the Bard Barrel, which doesn't even do anything for him, to be honest. If you think about it, the Bard Barrel is never going to do damage on any of these other units. It's going to end up killing the Mortar a little bit quicker, but it's also not going to be in cycle for now. My Goblin Gang and Rascals counter pushes. It's pretty bad for him to do that, in my opinion. So I actually want to end up going for a Miner since we end up having this Rascal plus Spear Goblin. And then we can get some damage off on top of the Lumberjack that he's about to drop on us. So that's, that's pretty cool. So we're going to go Goblin Gang again. And I want to end up going in for a Mortar since the Goblin Gang should be able to kill that Lumberjack. And I think I'll be able to get some damage since he doesn't end up having enough Elixir for the Golem in time. As a result, look at all that damage. The Mortar connects. This is going to be quite good for us. I can't play a game against Golem where... I'm trying to be really, really defensive with this deck because I most certainly will lose. It's just the fact. I have to play aggressive when I have the opportunity, otherwise I'm not going to be able to break through ever again. So here we go. We're getting the bats right on top. So one of the rascals ends up dying, but I want to keep him at a low amount of elixir so he's never able to afford the golem, and I never want him to have the golem back in cycle at the correct times. So let's go in for a mortar here so the baby dragon locks onto that. He doesn't have elixir since he just went in for a tornado and now we're gonna go for goblin gang we should be able to kill the lumberjack and take out the tower here so if you guys noticed how i played this game i played super aggressive and i realized hey he's not gonna have the golem back in cycle because he's just ended up dropping a tornado and baby dragon on offense and we're able to apply a lot of aggression make sure that he's not able to spend any elixir on golems so then i don't have to defend if he doesn't have elixir for a golem i don't have to defend guys because there's not gonna be a big push coming at me everything that he throws at me can just be simply defended with rascals since the barbell does not extend that far so we're just going to get a juicy fireball off here, go in for a bar barrel, and then drop Rascals. You guys are going to see time and time again, Rascals are one of my favorite cards on defense here because they just don't die. They're one of the most overpowered cards in the game, and I think they deserve a pretty big nerf. So we're just going to end up going for a fireball here if I need to. I don't even think I need to, but I'm just going to make sure the bats don't lock on and we win the game. GG, well played and peace out. This guy had bar barrel, and he ended up having a tornado with a whole bunch of splash damage, but it just didn't matter. Let's move on to the next game and let's keep asserting dominance. Let's go for Rascals to so go kick off the game on this Hog Rider, see what's up, see what's popping. It's going to get two hits, unfortunately, but we are going to be able to shut down the Hog Rider, and he ended up using a Tesla to counteract the Rascals, so that's already eight Elixir on the map, so I feel comfortable going in for the Mortar, and I don't have to immediately go and drop something in front because I know, hey, he doesn't have Tesla in cycle because he just used it. So I will be able to defend almost anything. He's going to end up going for an Executioner. So I kind of want to end up going for a Barbarian Barrel. So then the Executioner targets that inside of the Spear Goblins and the Mortar. And the Mortar is going to get a couple extra hits because of that. And now I don't even have to respond to the Executioner on my tower. doesn't matter. So we are looking at a game where he's going to end up having Tesla and Executioner. kind of expect him to end up having NATO. So I don't really want to go in for Miner in the back. We'll end up going for Bats here. And we'll see what he does. He's going to go for Tesla. Well, that's going to be a Tesla plus a NATO. And then you don't end up having a great answer to the Mortar. So let's just do that again. If he goes in for a Hog Rider, we just Goblin Gang. Otherwise, if he hogs opposite, we'll go in for a Goblin Gang on that. I want to go for Rascals on defense. Because I'm not entirely convinced he ends up having a great answer to it. Okay, so he's got Log. Now I have a free Goblin Gang on top of the Hog Rider. We're still protecting the Mortar because it's just going to give us infinite amount of value. And that's going to get another Kobe shot. Let's go, guys. He doesn't have login cycle, so there's really no way for his hog rider to get value on us. I'm going to wait for the Tesla to expire, then I'm going to go for Spear Goblin, so it's minor here. 
So everyone that I'm playing today ends up having like multiple spells. They got Nato, they got Log, they got Bard Barrel. What is this madness? Spear Goblin should be able to shut down that Executioner. And I feel very comfortable just going for another defensive corner. Because I think he's going to end up having Log and Cycle. So, don't really want to use anything else. I can't go in for a High Mortar because the Tusk is going to hit it. So I have to go in for here. Then we can go Goblin Gang here. Just make sure that, yeah, he's going to drop the Log there. So all of our units are not going to get hit. Also, some of them go on the side that we want. We're going to go and split Rascals because he's probably going to be able to cycle back to Log in time. And I'm just going to have to Bard Barrel on top of the Executioner. We're going to end up going for Bats here. And I can probably just cycle back. It's not going to be that big of an issue. Well, play my man. You actually did cycle back the log. And I just have to go for Goblin Gang, you know? And now we can go in for a Miner in the safe spot. I don't think he has any real way of killing that. I think his only real way of dealing with Miner is going to be like Knight and Nato. But yeah, he just wasn't able to plot the Knight down in time as expected. So we can end up going for Rascals again. It's probably a Hog Rider, so we're going to end up going for Barbarian Barrel here just to make sure that we can kill that. So the Executioner is not going to be targeting our Spear Goblins nor our Mortar. Tries to Nato anyway, doesn't matter at all. Since he uses Nato already, I can go in for a Miner in a uh, different placement behind the tower. He's probably going to go in for a Knight in front, so we're going to go Fireball back in front closer to the Rascals again, so we get even more hits with the Miner. And I know that I just need a Fireball at this point because it does 201, so we're just going to cycle our cheapest Elixir cards to get back to it. Could have Miner not defense against the Hog Rider, impending if I had lower HP, but yeah. GG, well played, and peace out, Pearl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, sir, and good luck in the rest of your Grand Challenge session. Very fun game. I love playing against people that end up having multiple spells and asserting dominance on them with this more bait deck. Alright, so we're gonna end up going in for Spear Goblins here. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's good. Let's go in for a Miner here. See if we can shut down that Spear Goblin hut against... I thought his name was Nathan. Natan. But I end up going in for Rascals here. I almost called this man Nathan. I'm sorry, sir. So you definitely end up having like Pekka or RG or something along the lines of that. I need to wait for that to expire. It's probably gonna be Pekka. Maybe it's just gonna be standard, but minor control. If it's minor control, oh no, it's definitely gonna be Pekka triple spell. That's a yikes. That's a fat yikes for me, big dog. We wanna go opposite lane so he doesn't get poison value on top of our mortar and the weaker tower. So that's just something that you should always be doing against anyone that has minor. You don't wanna allow them to get poison value on the mortar as well. So let's see if we can make this happen. Great bar barrel and on end, but uh, the minor is gonna get like 500 damage. And the mortar is going to chip away on top of the Spear Goblin hut, so we take it. And the Spear Goblin is not even going on the right-hand side, so that's pretty good. It's going to go Barbarrel, so then we can flip. Kill the other Spear Goblin. And bait out a Mega Minion. I don't know why he dropped that, to be honest. It's probably a Miner with it to be real here. So let's go for Rascal, so we can shut down the Miner with the Girl Rascal. Get some counter push on the other side. And also split it, so then we get some value on both sides. If he goes in for a Miner. Miner's gonna die. Should be able to protect this mortar for a bit or get that to lock. Then we can go to Spear Goblins. See, this is a tough matchup because we know he's gonna end up having a Snowball here and Barb Barrel. So, if I win this, I'd be shocked, to be real. How can we do it, boys? If he uses Barb Barrel to run a Goblin Gang. He probably Snowballs it. Yup. Big facts. Then we gotta go split Rascals because he's gonna Miner, and we wanna have one of our Rascals clip away and chip away at the Miner. We wanna keep up the aggression here. We're gonna go Bard Barrel so then we can kill that Spear Goblin Hut, hopefully. Get some more damage on it, and then we're gonna go Miner because he ended up dropping the Pekka. I think the Pekka there is a pretty bad misplay. It's too much Elixir. My opinion. Ooh, he's gonna give me a juicy Fireball. We snag those. We snag those out here. We're gonna go Miner. Go in for Goblin Gang. Maybe? That's nah, not worth We have to go bats. Ship away on top of that. I was hoping that the mortar would survive so we could get another another hit off. Didn't work out though. He's gonna end up going for Lectra, so we need to go for Goblin Gang. Ah, oh, he didn't. For fact, he had enough Blitzer for that. He did just use a lot though. He did just use a lot. So we're gonna go Rascals. Doesn't have Fire Barrel in Cycle, so I think this might be an okay play if we can just damage down that Packer really quickly. Went for poison as well, so the mortar's still alive. That guy ends up dying. Oh my gosh, can we get a connection? We could definitely end up killing that Electro and that the Goblin Gang here. Yeah, this matchup's super tough, man. Almost there, uh, almost in a good spot. But we need to keep up the aggro with the mortar. If this mortar doesn't lock, I think we lose. We're gonna go Spear Goblins, Fire Barrels, we'll play. I think he's just going to end up going here for a Miner and then free Snowball, so we're just going to Fireball it. 
So we end up not dropping the Goblin Gang right under a Snowball. It's gonna Poison though, and that's gonna win in the game. So yeah, I made a lot of predictions, and I think I played that about as well as I could've, but sometimes you just can't do anything if they have too many hard counters to use, so. GG, well played, and peace out, man. I tried my hardest. I think I played as well as I possibly could've. All right, so we're gonna go kick off the game with Bats in the back. We're gonna see what's up, see what's good. This guy is gonna end up going in for a Bandit. So when we say Bandit, we're thinking that it's gonna be P.E.K.K.A. And if it's P.E.K.K.A., we have a pretty good matchup advantage. So I really hope it is. It's gonna have Dark Prince, so it's gonna be slightly worse for us. If they end up having Royal Ghost, it's a little bit easier in this specific matchup. And then also, the only other matchup that the Royal Ghost is gonna be worse in is gonna be in the Mirror matchup when P.E.K.K.A. is playing versus P.E.K.K.A. So he's got one of those matchups, so the Dark Prince is actually gonna be a little bit better for him here. But still not going to be that great for him. Overall, this matchup is pretty refavoring us because we have Rascals and we have Mortar, so there's no real way for him to ever break through it. So we want to save either one of our crowners, our Rascals or our Mortar for his bridge spam. Otherwise, we could have a huge issue if he goes like Royal Ghost or Dark Prince with a Battle Ram because we wouldn't have a great way of stopping it. We're end up going Goblin Gang at the river. We're just going to see what's up, see what's popping. He's going to ban it and he's going to zap. So that's a lot of Elixir he just casted. And now I know I can just go in for Spear Goblins and then go in for a Miner here. Try to get some more Chip. He just uses Zap, so that means that he doesn't have it in Cycle. It's gonna go Rascals here. And it's gonna kill the Dark Prince, and it's gonna kill the Electro Wizard. And he's not gonna have Elixir for a Pekka or anything, so we can just easily go in for a Mortar. Kill all of that, since he doesn't end up having Log or Barb Barrel, he only has Zap, he's gonna have a huge issue. So I'm just gonna kill that as quickly as possible, so then the Mortar retargets onto the tower. Paul's gonna go for Spear Goblins here, so then our tower is able to chip away on top of that as the bandit dashes on top of the mortar instead of our tower. Well, it doesn't even dash, it like walks towards it. So we know he just uses Zap, so he's only gonna end up having minions in cycle, right? Minions or Electro. In either situation, this is fine for us. Bit out a card that he doesn't want to drop. And then the minions aren't able to kill everything, so he has to drop an Electro as well. You know how much elixir that is that he just spent? That's a, that's a lot. So we're just going to end up going for a fireball and we're going to bar barrel. And look at that positive elixir trade that we just netted. It's absurd. It's crazy how good bar barrel is. And now he overextended so he has no way of killing this. He doesn't have elixir for Pekka so he has to end up going for Dark Prince which just gets hard countered by the Rascals. We Miner again. And then he's going to end up going for a Zap or something. Then we just Goblin Gang. And then the game should be ours if we just bar barrel. So yeah, it looks like... This matchup is just so utterly in our favor if they decide to bridge spam and you have Rascals in cycle and you know how to combat this. Since I've played quite a bit of P.E.K.K.A., I feel pretty confident in this matchup, especially if I'm just able to get a Mortar down. He's going to Poison, he's not going to be able to hit everything. We're going for Rascals just to make sure after he bridge spams, he's not going to get any more damage. We're going to go for a Goblin Gang up high to make sure that the Bandit goes towards that and doesn't dash on the Thick Boy. And then we spam him really hard because there's no way for him to uh, kill the Rascals. Since he doesn't end up having a Royal Ghost and his Dark Princess is out of cycle, this is going to be a tragic time for him. I'm going to go in for a Fireball just to kill those minions, and then we're going to be able to kill the Dark Prince, and we don't get a hit, but man, this is still really, really good for us. Going to go in for another set of Spear Goblins here, and he's going to end up with Batram. Man, this just is, uh, <laughs> you know, like when you've played his deck and you've played their deck a lot more than the one that you're playing right now, and you just know the matchup from the other side, it feels so bad as the Pekka player. Because I know the pain that he's going through right now. He can't really break through Rascals ever. He's going to have to Electro. If he does that, then we're just going to get Juicy Fireball. So I expect he's going to Electro here. If he doesn't, then the Spear Goblins get on top. And that would just be GG immediately. So yeah, he's going to have to end up going for a Mortar. So then that gets pulled backward. And then we just go in for a Goblin Gang here. This game was completely under control. Spear Goblins as well. I guess the uh, Dark Prince is a little bit obnoxious there, but as long as we, as we end up going for the Miner here, there's no way that that breaks through. And yeah, he said GG. I mean, I think I played it okay. I don't think I played it perfectly, but this matchup is near impossible for him, so. Yeah, feels bad, man. We're just gonna end up going for another Fire Barrel here. He used his Zaps, so and now we played pretty aggressive. We just need one Miner hit, and then we're able to finish off the game with a Fireball. We're not gonna go for the Fireball before that because if I don't get the minor connection, if he blocks it, I do lose the game. So we don't play risky. We just play safe and sound, especially when we have matchup advantage. It was a pleasure playing against you, sir. He played that Pekka matchup actually really, really well. It's just really difficult to win when your opponent knows what they're doing. So just do what I did. Make sure that you have Rascals or your Mortar in Cycle for whenever they end up having the Pencil, aka the Battle Room in Cycle, and then you'll always win. We go for Spear Goblins here. We're going to see what's up, see what's good. This guy is going to go for a Barb Barrel, so we're going to have to go for Bats here. 
make sure that Barbarian is not going to couple hits, and we're actually going to go in for a Miner as well, because we're going to bait out more Elixir from him. And the Ice Wizard does end up targeting the Bats, unfortunately. I could Fireball that, but I know that I'll just get a better interaction if I go in for Rascals here, because the Dark Prince's shield is going to prevent it from really getting destroyed. I'm going to go for a Mortar here, because he's down a bit of Elixir. And there's no way that he's going to be able to break through. Even if he had Fireball, you wouldn't have Elixir after casting the RG in front of that. You just don't have anything after that. Your, your well is run dry, sir. It's a 6 Elixir investment in single Elixir after having a Dark Prince and an Ice Elixir. There's no way. So, Rascal's going to come through. He's going to end up having either Fireball or Lightning with this deck. And he's going to end up having Bard Barrel. He's going to have a lot of spell counters, though, guys. So, I have to play my best to win this one. I'm going to go for a Miner in the back. He might actually end up going in for a NATO on that, or he's going to Dark Prince it. Okay, so that, that was interesting. Dark Princes and NATOs. That's actually a pretty hefty Elixir investment. Dropping 8 Elixir there, or no, 7 Elixir. It's kind of wild, man. You don't have Bard Barrel in Cycle, so then I know I can go in for Rascals and a Mortar. And if you go in for an RG, it's just going to die of the Rascals, so I'm pretty okay with that. Let's see what he wants to do. He might RG into it a little bit later. He's going to Mega Minion as well. The Mega Minion is going to take a lot of damage here as well. And I end up going in for Miner here. And we knew that he was going to Goblin, or Bar Grill, expecting the Goblin Gang. So we're just making sure that we were either going to do Bats there or we were going to end up going for the Goblin Gang later. Just a little bit scared of that. You never really want to be dropping stuff in the vicinity of allowing him to do that. It's just the feels bad moment when it happens. So we're going to go Bats, the Dark Prince does not get a hit, so it's fine. And I think I have to end up going for Spear Goblins here again. I could Fireball just to kill that Tombstone a little bit quicker. And now he's going to start his little push. Little push of RG. So let's go in for another Mortar. And I expect him to end up going in for a Lightning here. So we're going to go for Rascals, and he should be able to break through the Rascals to be honest. To be fair here. If I go for a Miner and have Rascals on the map, the bar build doesn't extend that far, so he's gonna either lightning or drop something like that. Maybe he just sacks it. He's just gonna sack the RG. Maybe cycle back to another or something. Put a bar barrel again. You know, drop a mortar here. In case he wants the lightning. Then we just cycle another set of rascals. Fireball everything. So yeah, Dark Prince is pretty good against us, but we still defend relatively easily. There's not too many issues, as long as you make sure that you have Rascals in cycle and you don't drop them just capriciously for no reason, you're going to be fine, because the Bard Barrel doesn't extend that far. You guys are going to see this time and time again. He probably has Lightning, I feel like he would have dropped Fireball by now. If that's the case, we just want to go for Rascals on a spot he's not able to hit. We're going to go in for another Bard Barrel here, and I'm going to go in for a Miner in the safe spot. Yeah, he's got Lightning, that still doesn't get a hit, and then uh, I can get a Juicy Fireball. So you're going to try to prevent the Miner. Go Spear Goblins just to make sure that the Barbarian doesn't get damaged. And I think I can go in for a Mortar here. This might be pretty aggressive, but I'm okay with it. So I can just go Rascals, and then go in for a Bard Barrel. So we're going to be able to kill that RG before it passes. Doesn't end up having Bard Barrel in Cycle, so he can't hit it. And he's going to Bard Barrel soon, so I want to end up going for Bats. He has lightning, he's not gonna be able to kill those bats. He's gonna go tombstone. Oh wow, that was actually a really good play on his end, that NATO. Gave him a ton of value. He's gonna go spear goblin, see if he barbells them. We just wanna keep fireballing, I think. So he might get a couple hits here, because that was a really good bar girl. It's also pretty aggressive though. So now he's not able to kill the rascals, so we're just gonna go mortar here, rascals, and then. Might just want to end up going for another fireball on the tombstone. Or I could hit everything. I think hitting everything's a little bit better. So we're gonna be able to kill the Mega Minion as well. And I think that locks onto the tower for one hit. Yeah, Kobe shop boys. Let's go. So we should be able to walk away with the W if I just am able to fireball a couple more times. Let's see if he wants to do anything here. Probably no way for him to kill that. I think we go here. Man, it's tough to say. I think I have to fireball it earlier just to kill this yeah, skeletons, and then I can go in the back. I just need one hit and we win the game. So then I just fireball him. Okay, GG. Just gonna go cycle bats, because it's gonna be the cheapest mechanism of cycling back. 
And we walk away with a W against someone that ends up having a lot of answers to us, but you save Rascals and don't drop them really close up. He's never able to get that barbed barrel right on top of the Rascals, and he'll never be able to break through you, even if he cycles an RG in the back and cycles back to another. Rascals are just overpowered if your opponent ends up having Barbro and isn't able to reach them. And this is kind of why people say that Mortar Bait is one of the strongest decks in the game. Even decks that have three spells and should theoretically counter it, just simply can't. 